Hello, I'm Jasmine. Hi Jasmine, we're ready to guess your job. Can we have your first clue please? Of course, I helped to make something using this. <laughs> what is that? Not, not, not anyone there. Coconut maybe? A coconut walnut. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like something. Is it a huge acorn? We think, think it's a the coconut. coconut. The gang are struggling with this one. Can you help them out, Jasmine? I'll give you another clue. These come from this. Any ideas what they are? No. Oh. Are they little nuts? Are they little nuts? I think they might be nuts. I think they're sport as well. Nuts, maybe? Yeah, they look like nuts. They smell like nuts. The smell of chocolate. Yeah. You're getting closer. I'll give you one more clue. These are something we use in industry, but we've given you something that you might use at home. Any more guesses? Mm. Wishy. Candy. Oh, I don't know what it is. To shape chocolate? Yeah, the chocolate moulds are made out of silicone. Fantastic. What if I told you that everything that you've been holding are some of the raw ingredients that it takes to go into this super tasty treat? Chocolate. Chocolate. This is chocolate. chocolate. Wait, so this is all chocolate? Great job, team. Jasmine, do all the items you've shared go into making chocolate? Absolutely, you've got it. I'm an engineer and here at JGA Snack, Siemens Technology helps to make chocolate. Now you have seen the raw material, which was the cocoa pod, how do you think that gets turned into a chocolate bar? Um, they mush them up and then put like milk in there or something. Then yeah. old them. I think they take the things out and then mush them up and then cook them and mould them into chocolate. Some great guesses. Jasmine, were they close? Cocoa beans are roasted and the inside are ground together with sugar, milk and cocoa butter in a machine like this. Wow, I didn't know so much clever machinery went into making a chocolate bar. Right gang, on a slightly different topic, where do you think cocoa pods are grown? Where do you think? Oh, I don't think it comes from here. Maybe somewhere warm. Maybe mm, not Turkey. United States. Mm. Tay just thinks it comes from Brazil. I think it comes from the United States. These cocoa pods will only grow in climates which are really, really hot. That's why we find them grown in countries around the equator, about 23 degrees north and 23 degrees south. The cocoa beans are then transported all over the globe using planes and boats. Wow, the chocolate that we get in our shops starts its life so far away. Okay team, so now we know how to make chocolate and where it comes from. Where in the chocolate making process do you think we need engineers like Jasmine? With the machines? They fix cars so. Maybe with the machines? Yeah, with the machines, though. If um, aeroplanes weren't made, engineers make things, so they wouldn't be able to um, make the cocoa beans go where they need to go in the plane. We need all different kinds of engineers in the production line of chocolate, such as aerospace engineers for make, building and maintaining the planes, mechanical engineers for the machinery, and automation engineers like us at Siemens for maintaining the process. When producing chocolate, it needs to be kept at the most perfect temperature for it to taste so good. At Siemens, we make controllers to ensure that this always happens. From Siemens controllers, we can extract data to provide insights so that companies like JGA Snack can produce the best chocolate possible. Amazing! Over to you guys. Do you have any questions for Jasmine? Can I eat the chocolate in the factory that they make? Yeah, why don't they eat the chocolate? Like, one bar won't hurt. Yes, of course you can. Fresh chocolate can be hard to resist because it's really tasty, but it's always good to have a taster on hand so that we can make sure that we've kept everything perfect. Do normal engineers make them or is there just a special like engineer place where they make them or they just not go through training but they have to know about chocolate? 
anybody can be an engineer and there's loads of different types. For example, I'm an aerospace engineer, but at Siemens, I get to work on loads of different technology and different machines, like this chocolate machine, and it's really fun. Can you make from some more shapes like zigzags or like a big, a big chocolate egg? That's a very good question. Chocolate can come in all shapes and sizes, just like engineers. So, tell us again, who are you and what's your job? I'm Jasmine, I'm an engineer and I help to make chocolate. Thanks Jasmine. What other cool things do you think engineers do?